Okay, so I um, wanted to just share with you all how the week one went. And most importantly, let you know that there is still time for a sister who has been um, returned back to Allah, who is a widow. There's still time for her to register. Um, registration will remain open for all four weeks of the widow support group um, of the grief recovery. So anytime you, dear sister, are ready to join, the doors are open, our hearts are open. Today was beautiful. The first session was really beautiful and I'm still still processing the experience to be among my sisters and faith and to share with to share our experience of losing our husbands and the diversity of the group in terms of experience from sisters who are married for 50 years, 44 years, some married for three years, some married for eight years, seven and a half years, and some are mothers, some are not mothers. It's just, it's uh, I'm just speechless. It's humbling. And it's humbling. It's humbling to be in the presence of women who have that ache in their heart and have the tears streaming down their face and experiencing that pain yet the gratitude for Allah that he made us Muslims and he gives us and gave us and continue to give us the strength and the faith and the trust to persevere through the hurt and the pain and for us all to come together in a safe environment where we will not be judged according to how we grieve however long we may to be among those who understand is a mercy and a relief and a favor from our Lord. And just grateful that today was a really great success. And I I always wonder and I always just pray that it's beneficial, you know. You know, when you put something out there, you always for with the best of intention, you always want to make sure that people are benefiting and that it is of value. So Alhamdulillah, just wanted to let you all know that we did conclude week one, which is um, understanding grief. And we touched on various um, signs of normal responses to grief, whether that is the tightness in the chest or tightness in the throat of the throat or even having moments where you're in denial that your husband is gone, you know? wondering is he going to walk through that door any moment now those are normal responses to um understanding grief and for those who are you know feel as though you're suffering in your grieving process it's okay to reach out you are encouraged to reach out um also to seek professional help you know if you need a therapist or a counselor then it's okay me personally I have therapists I have two therapists to be exact an art therapist and a regular therapist who I speak with and alhamdulillah praise be to God it's been beneficial <laughs> so far and just want to encourage you to continue to share and invite because you're sharing and inviting have allowed for these sisters to know about the workshop and for them to partake in it and to be among a support group because studies show that with grieving grieving is a process that that does not happen in isolation like the grieving process to move towards healing happening with people with other people and in talking and and saying our loved one's name and I understand now even more so when someone have been murdered by the police 
or you have those um the black Lives matter events where our young men and women are gunned down and their family members say say their name like i get it by us saying their name that helps with the the grieving process and the healing process and by all means i'm not, I'm not comparing someone being gunned down to someone losing their life in the natural way i'm not comparing i'm just speaking to the healing power in saying antarjana or saying your loved one who um returned back to allah so I'll end with that and just a reminder to please share the video, this video, share the flyer, share the link for a sister to register and to the widows um, support group. Today was a great success. Okay, take care. Assalamu alaikum and peace be upon you.